Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Nation Building, Part 8. In this one, where am I? Oh, let's go have a look-see. I've been given um, some special powers to show this off because, well, there's no other way to show it off. It would take me like eight episodes just to show this building, so... Kind of, kind of failed the first time. Yeah, that's right. I can fly. For the moment. So, anyway, this is the Elizabeth Cathedral. Why Elizabeth Cathedral, you might ask? Because I built it for Molly. Um, oh, you do, do, shut up, way we hate you. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I built it for Molly, okay? Hmm. Molly helped. Alice Maid helped. Latin Goddess helped. Corella32 helped. December Queen helped get materials. Uh, JPW03, I think that's the numbers, helps give me some materials. Uh, zombie helped a little bit. We uh, originally started building it like right on the line there where the fountain is, and Zombie bumped it back a little bit whenever we had the first wall on the front, just so it would look nicer from the pathway. Um, other than being given some materials, I mean... <laughs> We scavenged the stone brick for this for the most part. We built this. I mean, this isn't a creative mode build that we brought in. There were two pictures that I will try to remember to link in the description that we used to figure out how this looks. I laid the foundation out. Um, everyone else helped me kind of build from there. But it was a pain in the neck to figure out. So I'm going to show it off. And I'll give you guys some kind of clue as to how to build something similar. So this is a fountain that we have in the front. Looks nice. Not sure why there's glowstone over here and not over here. We'll have to even that out. No worries. Easy fix. Got some nice little lamps that Alice put in. Not sure if she put in the ones in the ground. Not sure who put those in. Alright, so let's show off the outside first. A nice big glorious window. These are all torch lit. I'll show you once we get to the inside. But there's torches on all of the windows to make them stand out. That's why they kind of glow in the night. I know, amazing, right? Torches glow in the night. Mm. Uh, stone brick, stone slabs, glass, quartz, redstone blocks for the roof, uh, quartz for the floor on the inside. What else? Got a glowstone cross up here. This is another window, which is a different pattern. Molly said this kind of reminds her of a four-leaf clover, which it does. I mean, if you look in the middle, it has a very four-leaf clovery look to it. Um, what else? There's this little like, I don't know. Build. We've not done the inside at all. The exterior is done. The inside is not. But there's these little buildings on the either side of the main cathedral building. Uh, then we got this nice little uh, whatever this thing is called. I'm so brain dead. I mean. <laughs> This project has taken a lot of effort, a lot of patience, a lot of measuring five times, cutting six times, because I've screwed up a few times. Like the first time I put this in on the other side, the opposite side, I put the two towers too close together and we couldn't fit the window in the middle. And I really didn't want to cut down on the size of the window because it looks good to me. So I had to redo the towers, had to redo some walls, lots of glass. It's just been a lot of... A lot of hard work. Alice made these gardens. I think they look excellent. Uh, let's see. I guess I could show off the back real fast before we go inside. These other little buildings that stick out on the buildings that stick out from the main building. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what else? Um, phone? Shut up. Oh, here's the back of the cathedral. Figuring out this roof was all guess and check, as was this one. This one I <laughs> took a long time to try to figure out how to do the way that um, they kind of did in the pictures. Don't know if it's exactly right, but, you know, close enough for now. Another garden that Alice made, which I, I think the gardens look really nice in the courtyards. And the only doors are the four front doors and two doors to the courtyards right now. We might be adding more. Don't know. Latin did this nice little roof structure here uh, with quartz, redstone, and the little glowstone lamps, which I think look really nice, really elegant, which is kind of what I was hoping to go with for this. She decorated in here. 
And then Molly did most of the decorating in this room with the flowers and the cross. I'm thinking we might put in the ceiling like there are in the other room, but I like the... <laughs> I think this is a hint because Molly wanted to put a cemetery next to the cathedral to, um, she's been dating me too long. She's a little bit warped. Yeah. I've rubbed off on her in the wrong way, I think. Yeah. Skeleton, skeleton heads in there. So anyway, uh, we got the main part in here with. The altar is probably going to go somewhere between here and back here where Latin put this uh, gold structure. Gold? That's free money, Wade. I'm not destroying it and taking the money. It's decorational. In all honesty, we probably you know could have fronted the gold blocks for this, but Latin is very, very helpful when it comes to decorating. And not just me. She goes around and touches up people's things and like, won't, like you know, with them there. She doesn't just go behind their back, I don't think. Maybe she does. She probably does. She's probably changed everything I've done ever. All right, so altar something. I'm thinking maybe some little baptism pools or uh, I don't know, something. The decorating I really didn't want to do on the inside. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'll build the outside. Molly, you, Latin, uh, Billy Bob, whoever, you guys can decorate the inside. And yet here I am working. Up. Have I shown you guys these? I don't think I have. Spiral staircases that go up the towers. So if you don't remember There's two big towers on the outside here and if we go in here Spiral staircases need to go up so that you can get to the second floor which Why can't I fly because I suck at it because I'm not used to it. I'm not used to having a cool abilities <laughs> So, this overlooks the fountain, overlooks the front, and I think it just looks good, in all honesty. And this floor and this floor are inside the towers, and I think it'd be nice to have a way to get up here, you know. I thought about doing elevators, I thought about just ladders, I thought about saying, screw it, no one needs to go to the second floor anyway, but I think we're going to try a spiral staircase pattern, and I will show you guys how to do this. So the stone slabs and the brick basically mark the same thing. I might cover them up all the way up with, not, not brick, but with the stone slabs or quartz or something to make it look nice. Or I'm thinking about building up um, this wall here so that way the towers are sectioned off inside and out. Don't know yet. Still toying around with it. Like I said, this just got done on the outside, so. And I would have showed you guys the building process, but whenever I was trying to count like 30 blocks consistently, I wasn't able to talk at all. I was just sitting here like. For like hours at a time. And I didn't think that'd be very entertaining. It took so much focus. And whenever I'm trying to focus on something, I go dead silent. Ask Molly whenever we first started building the castle. Um, she'd be trying to talk to me and like I was counting out how to lay out the towers or something. And I just would not say a word dead silent because I was trying to ignore or anything but it just takes a lot of focus for me to you know build massive great structures that are world wonders in real life you know my bad pardon me for thinking viewers but anyway um spiral staircase okay so basically you want to keep everything inside this circle you draw a circle on the ground and this design I went with the um three Shut up. Whatever. The... Uh, can you tell I'm brain dead? Stone, the quartz pillars mark the center. So it's like a one diameter circle. But to make the staircase look a little bit nicer, it'd be wider than that. So you go with like a five diameter on either side. And so you go three and then the one, three, blah, 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 blah. Very simple. Just one, two, three. One. One, two, three. One. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. Okay, then you got this in the middle, and then you start your stairs. So, for the stairs, I'm gonna go up to this next level and pretend this is the floor when I get up here. 
Okay, so. Well, I'm going to have to catch it up a little bit so it's actually like the floor, but anyway. You got the two stairs here. This is a stair block, this is a stair block. So next, you use stone slabs, not stone blocks. Why? Because the stone slabs act as like a third staircase, whereas a block would go up another one. You put one behind each stair, go behind the interior stair, put another one. Oh boy, that's amazing! Yes. Then you put two stairs and start the pattern over. Stair up, back, 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 back. Destroy the one on top of the stairs, go over here, place another one. And as you're going up, you can kind of add your pillars, make it look nice. And before you know it, you've got the workings of a spiral staircase. Looks nice while you're on it, doesn't look so pretty from the side, which is why I'm still trying to figure out a way to decorate it up and make it look nice. All right, so this has been the Elizabeth Cathedral. If you guys want to know more about it, uh, post some questions in the the comments below. I can come back here and show you guys progress as we decorate the inside. If you want a longer tutorial on the stairs because mine kind of sucked, ask me. I'll try to give you a better demonstration. But, you know, stone slabs, stairs, and then something to mark the bottom, something to mark the, st the center. The reason I used brick over here is because whenever I didn't know, really know the pattern I was going with for this, the brick stands out quite a bit. And if I just look down over the edge, I can tell if I'm within the pattern or not. So like right here, I know I'm missing one, so it's a stair. Then I need a one, two, three. The only thing I do one, two, three, four is the slabs. So I've got to lay one up here. That way I can get to that slab location. So then I've got the one, the two. Apparently I can never lay the two. And the three. And then you go back to stairs again. Bam, bam. Easy. Take some patience because you got to, you know, deal with each set of slabs. You've got to put one on top, destroy it. So you're going to go through some pickaxes. Uh, Molly got to her parents safe. They're having a grill out today. She's done with most of her school stress and she gets to relax and I'm very happy for her. It's been a long uh, semester for her and by default me because I've had to deal with it and dealing with someone who's stressed is not easy. Ask her if she deals with me when I'm stressed all the time. Love you, Molly. No, I'm, I'm really glad for her, though. I'm really glad that it's winding down. Because one, I'm going to visit her in a week. And then she's moving here. Yeah. Oh, I know. Awesome. Oh, uh, where was I? Okay. Showed you the pillars. Showed you the stairs. Showed you... I guess I can show you the roof a little bit more in detail. You see these um, stone slab pillars here. I'll show you what they mark. They mark this kind of cool design that wraps over the roof out here. <laughs> We're gonna move this Pikachu. Uh, three Digi Hearts built this um, Pikachu statue for us, which I think is really cool. I mean, you know, building statues of things without having any kind of foundation. The cathedral at least had pictures to work with. I guess you can know what Pikachu looks like, but you can't, how to know how to put it into blocks. I don't know. Latin finds it creepy. Um, Froggy finds it creepy. Riki Sue thinks it looks like a demon. That's a little harsh because I think it looks like Pikachu. I think it's pretty good, but you know. What else? We're going to end up moving this a little bit, not because of the comments people have been giving, but just because we've got an animal pen, a greenhouse, a cathedral. Pikachu just doesn't really fit right at this spot. And whenever I gave Ricky that plot, I didn't, er, Ricky. And whenever I gave Three Digi Hearts that spot, I didn't really plan on having a giant cathedral behind it. So we're going to move that and just kind of keep this very elegant and formal through here. And we'll move Pikachu over to like where the town plots are going to start, which I'll show you next. But anyway, here's the main entrance. Uh, just some kind of like little triangular dome. I used nether brick to outline it. It's the only spot where there's nether brick on the entire cathedral, but I think that's okay because it marks the entrance and makes it stand out a little bit more. You got the stone slab ornament, the redstone roofing, yada yada yada. Oh, you see the torches on the inside marking the windows. It's like that on every window in this. So that way whenever it's nighttime, every window pops out at you. Because the redstone stands out as it is, and at nighttime it looks really good to me because the redstone doesn't stand out quite as much and the windows really pop out, especially the big ones.
the quartz. So here's the roof. We've got windows that pop out up here. A uh, one high, two high, one high, two high pattern to get all the way up to here. Uh, we got this thingamajiggy that I can't remember the name of because I'm brain dead. And then over here, this pillar right here is the one that marks those giant pillars that you see inside down there. These go all the way down. And then there's three pillars that get up to here. There's, see the one, two, three, go up. And you've got this nice little stone slab connector thingamajig, which this pattern is a pain in the butt to try to remember and to figure out. We've got four blo full blocks, so eight stone slabs, five stone slabs, four stone slabs, three stone slabs, two, three, two. That's how we made these um, little archways that go over the roof. And from a distance, they look really good, in my opinion. I hope you guys think this looks as amazing as I do, but then again, I'm kind of biased because, you know, I built it with, with people's help. Uh, Corella, Alice, Molly, Latin, JP helped give us some materials, uh, December, Terry. Hi guys. Um, like I said, Zombie helped me move it back a little bit whenever we first started so that way the front would pop out more from the pathway. Most of the patterns I had to figure out, like the roof, I had to guess and check and hope that it would work out and line up the way it has. And I think it looks pretty good. It turned out the way I wanted it to. Uh, we got a nice little cross and uh, emerald blocks here with uh, quartz pillars around it. Is this hollow in the middle? I don't think so. <laughs> what the? There are probably so many little details that are like just a little bit off that need to be touched up, but that's okay. We'll worry about those later. All right, well, that's it for the cathedral for now. Whenever we get it decorated room by room, I'll show you. I'll give you a bigger and better tour. But right now, it's just kind of a nice, pretty shell. Can't even get to the second floor. The second floor is not done. Um, oh, oh, okay, Pl blocks aren't loading. I was terrified for a minute there. Must be going through some serious lag or something. Oh, man, that, that was scary. <laughs> okay. So you can see the nice little pathway we've got leading into it, the four main front doors. The two on the side, I'm going to close off, put a wooden door there on either one. The two in the middle, I'm going to leave open, I think. The ones on the side, I'm closing because, uh, well, I don't want people to look at the front and basically just look inside and see a staircase. It doesn't look quite right to me. Sorry, i got to do some touch-up work here. I had to build this monstrosity to show you guys the design I used for the stairs. And now we don't need it. The uh, glowstone blocks are just lighting it up temporarily. Those aren't going to stay on the floor here either. I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We might put them like in there to light it up along the way. I don't know. We've not really gotten a chance to think about the interior much yet. You built this entire structure on everything about what you're going to do on the inside? Yes, I did. We are going to be moving the Colosseum soon. Zombie. And... <laughs> Zombie's very busy, and I've kind of been pestering him about it lately because I've had to deal with um, some of you who have been randomly building houses all along the outside of this town. And so I need to expand the town, but I'm trying to save money to expand for the Coliseum first. So if I can get the Coliseum in here, zombie, um, we can start worrying about the uh, decorating of the cathedral, start worrying about rebuilding the Coliseum and finishing that up, and um, expanding the town and getting more people in here. So... I think we're going to leave this open. We might put something else over here. Don't know what yet. But this pathway is going to lead to where we are starting our first town plots. So we've got JPW who's living over here. My friend Ryan, Mario Tunic on the server, is going to be living over here somewhere. This is Alice Maid's uh, plots. She helped me build a lot. She's been helping me. She put all these lamps in. She's been helping me since we were on the old map. So I gave her four plots. Don't get on here and beg me for like 20 plots because you want to build a giant mansion. JP's got one plot. He's happy with it. He made it look nice. I might be lean enough to sell two. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. You can talk to me individually if you want some certain amount of plots and you want to live in this town. But for the most part, people are not going to be getting these giant four plots for structures. Nor will any other structures be going on this side of the pathway. They will all be going on this side of the pathway. Because I want to uh, 
maintain the integrity of the bay around the castle so that way it looks nice and wooded around the castle. It's all about your house, isn't it, Wade? Yep. So, um, I'll show you the pathway we've got so far. With all these plots on the right hands. Oh, man, such beautiful landscape. I would love to live in your town and pay your tax. Or, I mean, love to your town and donate. Or, I mean, live in your town and hang out with you. Uh, okay, so the path's going to start wrapping around this way. This is the back of the bay. If we go over here a little bit. If we go over here quite a bit, you'll see the... Well, there you go. You can see the back of the castle. There's the back tower. And so this is going to wrap straight behind the castle. Plots once again on the right-hand side, wrapping all the way to the Colosseum. And just so we can give you a clearer idea... Flying is really awesome. It must be awesome to be like an admin or a server owner, Zombie Latin, and be able to fly like all the time. It just... Uh, don't get me wrong, I love running through the town, but if I'm in a hurry and trying to show you guys stuff, just being able to fly there, amazing. Where's the cathedral? No. It's so massive, it just takes forever to load. You can't even see the whole thing from the front. You gotta like come way over here. <sniffs> Molly's having a thunderstorm and she's very happy about it. She likes thunderstorms. But anyway, you gotta come all the way over here to see like the foundation of the entire cathedral. Which is pretty amazing. You, there's, you know, this is half. There's a whole other half to it, and as I showed you guys, but I can't believe it's done. We put so many hours into this, and I got the temporary fly powers to try to finish it up, but without that, I would, <laughs> I wouldn't even be a third of the way done probably. I wanted to get that done and record it, and then get the Colosseum moved. Zombie. You don't even watch these, do you? You probably don't even watch these. <laughs> I'm so alone. Uh, um, if I want to get that done, get the Coliseum moved so that I could show you guys and record more of these. Because, like I said, watching me try to build something really complicated sounds really fun. Until you realize I don't say a word and it's like watching a completely silent playthrough. I recorded a couple episodes of me uh, building the Coliseum before. And I scrapped them. I thought about recording over and like doing a commentary afterward. And that's just not me it's not genuine it's like oh no a, a monster i didn't know that was coming <laughs> oh man even though i'm commentating on a video I recorded three weeks ago <laughs> oh so i like genuine reactions so if something goes wrong like if i fall to my death i want it to be a genuine scream not a oh there i go again <laughs> gee willikers but anyway um i'm lost residential area okay so this way leads to the castle. There's a little tunnel in the castle I think I showed you guys before. If you go left, this will lead you to... To glitchiness. This will lead you to... Lighthouse. What? Castle. Left is here. If you go left, it'll lead you to the residential area where we're starting to build houses. It also has the greenhouse, the animal pen, and the cathedral for now. We might add something else. Not sure yet. The other way will lead to the town shop that Froggy built. It's a little wooden, it's a little, it's a wooden structure with like a waterfall in the front and back. Pretty cool. And that's where like all the shopping is going to be, I think. And this will also lead to the Coliseum. And then more houses. The houses are going to wrap all the way around the bay. And then this will lead to a lighthouse that we are also going to be importing from the old map. So. <sighs> for now, I think that'll do it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Let's Play Minecraft Nation Building, Part 8. Stay tuned for part nine. I guess that comes after eight. And, um, yeah, we'll try to do something a little bit more exciting than just showing off things then. Until next time. See ya.